Hello, and welcome to Pharmacist Michael's Happy Healthy Living. Are you afraid the medications you take may increase your chances of developing dementia later in life? Do you know what medications might put you at risk? Dementia is a term we use when someone's mental abilities decline so much that it interferes with their daily life. Think of it like a computer slowing down and starting to malfunction. This issue is becoming more common, especially as people live longer. One area doctors and scientists are really curious about is whether certain medications might play a role in causing or speeding up dementia. This video will explore how some medications might be linked to dementia, what kinds of drugs are involved, and what this all means for people taking these medications. Welcome to Pharmacist Michael's Happy Healthy Living Channel, where you will learn how to improve your life one video at a time. As we get older, it's pretty common to end up taking a lot of different medicines, something we call polypharmacy. It's important to understand how these medicines might affect our brains, especially in terms of memory and thinking skills. This isn't just important for doctors, pharmacists, and nurses to know but also for us as patients and our families. We need to be careful about what medicines we take and understand both their benefits and their risks. Researchers are looking at different types of medicines to see if they might contribute to dementia. Here's a rundown of some of these. Let's start with anticholinergics. These are drugs that block a chemical messenger in the brain called acetylcholine. They're used for all sorts of things like allergies, tummy troubles, muscle spasms, and even Parkinson's disease. The concern is since this chemical messenger is important for memory and learning, blocking it might lead to problems with thinking and memory. Studies have shown that using these drugs for a long time might increase the risk of dementia. Common examples of anticholinergic drugs include some allergy medicines, certain drugs for depression, and meds for bladder control. The next group is benzodiazepines. These are often prescribed for anxiety, sleep issues, seizures, muscle spasms, and alcohol withdrawal. They work by calming down the brain, but there's a worry that they can lead to memory issues and possibly increase the risk of dementia especially if used for a long time. Some studies support this, but it's still unclear whether the drugs themselves cause dementia or are just being used to treat early symptoms of dementia. The main takeaway is that doctors need to be careful when prescribing these medications, especially to older folks. Patients should also be informed about the potential risk to their thinking and memory if they use these medications for a long time. It's all about finding the right balance and being aware of the pros and cons. I think it's super important to evaluate your medications at regular intervals. Do you really need to be taking each drug? I often see patients who take medications for years without even questioning their usefulness. Remember, not everything needs to be taken for the rest of your life. Be an advocate for your own health care. Do your own research and ask questions. Your health care team is there for you. If you have any questions about this topic, about medications or nutritional supplements, or you want me to take a look at your medication list, you can email me at michael at pharmacistmichael.com. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more happy, healthy living information. We release videos each Monday, Wednesday, and Friday 
at 9 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time. My name is Pharmacist Michael. Be happy and be healthy.